Hey, what's going on there, guys? It's your boy, Greg B, back again. And in today's video, guys, we're gonna be talking about how you, yes, you, can make money on Amazon. Just need to follow five steps, all right? We're gonna be diving into that in this video. So let's get into it. Did you guys know that you could partner up with Amazon? Yes, Amazon, the biggest retailer online. You can partner up with them and start getting paid. Now, this happens through affiliate marketing. All you do is refer products, and if someone purchases it in 24 hours, after clicking your link, you earn a commission. So we're gonna be going over the steps to do that without even needing a website, guys. Before we dive into that, I just wanna say, if you're new here, this is Average to Savage, a YouTube channel where we focus on getting fit financially and physically so we can live our best life, and we're just here to chase and hopefully achieve our full potential, all right? So if you could vibe with that and you wanna join the tribe, go ahead and click down below and subscribe. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, what we have here is Amazon Affiliate Marketing for Beginners. We're gonna be going over the five steps to making money online. So the first step to actually partnering up with Amazon is actually quite simple. You just go on Google, type in Amazon Associates, and you'll be brought to this page right here. Now, go ahead and join now for free right here. So when you guys are signing up for Amazon Associates, it's gonna be asking you for a website URL. Now, where it says website URL, you obviously don't have one. Go ahead and use your Facebook profile URL. And that's what I used when I started. But if that doesn't work by any, for any reason, go ahead and create a Facebook group, which is absolutely free, and grab that URL and use that as your website URL. That's one way to bypass having no website to join Amazon. Okay, now the next step is to pick a product to promote. Now we're already partnered with them. We have our account, everything is ready to go. And it's time for us to pick a product. Which product are we gonna pick, right? We could pick any single product on Amazon. Now that's a great thing, of course, because they have so much variety, but it's also detrimental because you don't want to focus on just everything. If you focus on everything, you most likely will sell nothing. Seriously, guys, imagine if you had a jewelry store and you sold busted out Rolexes, all diamonds, the Cuban link chains, and that essentially is a theme, but you also sold mood rings and anklet bracelets or whatever for 13 year old girls. That just wouldn't work, right? It just varies way too much. But if you have a specialized market, if you choose to you know, create a strategy where you're gonna focus on a specific market, that's where you could really hit the ground running. But let's say that we decide to do tech, right? You're into technology and you wanna create your affiliate sales through that means. So you're gonna have to go down and break it down a little bit just to get more specific. So you don't wanna do all technology. What it's gonna be? Is it gonna be headphones? Is it gonna be uh, monitors? Is it gonna be TVs? So choose one. For this example, let's go ahead and say we pick laptops. So what you wanna do here is go to the quick links search for products and go ahead and type in the exact product that you want to promote. Now I'm gonna go ahead and type in MacBook because I use this MacBook every day and I love it and I could genuinely recommend that to somebody and give a nice detailed review on it. All right, so what you wanna do here is go over here and click get link. I'm gonna click this drop down menu here. And as you can see, this is our affiliate link. This is quite ugly. So what I'm gonna do here is click this button, shorten the URL, and that makes it a lot more presentable, a lot less spammy, right? So go ahead and save this link, guys, because we're gonna need it in the future, all right? So just go ahead and copy that and paste it somewhere. So now that we have our product, it's time for us to create video content about our product. And the reason why I say video content is because when you are looking for a new product that you're about to purchase or you're planning, what's the first thing that you do? You look for videos, right, of someone talking about it or you just wanna see it. It's just that, that visual aspect to it that gets you excited about almost owning that product. So that's why I say create a video content about it because I love watching videos before I purchase something and I'm assuming you do too. So, so doesn't other people. So that's what we're gonna do. Now, I'm gonna go over the top three type of videos that you should make that work best when trying to make affiliate sales, all right? The first way I wanna say that you guys can make 
videos is actually by using this here it's called Google Slides. Now this is a free software where you can go ahead and create very nice slides just like this and record your screen using screen recorder software. Now I use Screencast-O-Matic on my PC, but when I'm on the Mac, it comes with QuickTime Player Pro or just QuickTime player yeah <laughs> that's what I like to record my screen with this is absolutely free guys and a great way to get started with the videos now another way that I highly suggest you guys make content is through Creative Commons now let's say we want to make a review of the 2019 MacBook what I would do is go to YouTube and type in MacBook Pro let's say uh, 2019 and then I would filter it guys and click Creative Commons. Now what Creative Commons is, it allows us to use pieces of other people's videos. They actually made a video and they put it out there for other people to use it. So we can use pieces of it as long as we give them credit. All right. So as you can see here, guys, um, let's use this one as an example. This guy is a huge YouTuber and you can actually use this video because it is under Creative Commons. Now I'm gonna show you guys an example how I would do it. I would not go ahead and just rip this entire video and then re-upload it. What I would do is I would actually mute it and just use the B-roll footages of people using the product, nice, nice shots of it, you know, going by. This is exactly what I would use and I would just go to another site that has the 2019 MacBook Pro review. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm looking for an article as inspiration. Those are gonna be essentially my talking points. You can pick out the pieces of different articles that you like and then build your speaking points that you can talk to about on video. All right, so here's an example, guys. This is all the information here, familiar design, it talks about the touch bar, the quad core eighth generation i5 processor, okay? So that right there is like one example of an article that you can use and get information from to have talking points while you have the B-roll footage from this Creative Commons video, guys. It's really that simple. You know, you don't really have to make it any harder than it actually is, guys. People love to see, you know, nice cinematic shots of a product that they already are want are doing research about. So it just makes sense and it's actually a pretty smart way to make a video without kind of having to make a full video. So of course, product comparisons work very well. There's been the infamous debate of Mac versus PC, right? We all know. So if you were to get the latest MacBook Pro 2019 and have an article with B-roll footage versus the newest PC and have B-roll footage, then you can then compare the stats and have an actually engaging video that people are gonna be interested to watch so they can see which is the right decision for them to make. And this type of video really helps them, you know, create a pros and cons list in their mind of what would best suit them before actually purchasing this laptop. Another type of video that works wonders is product reviews. Like we said before, when you're going online, before you purchase something, you usually tend to go on YouTube and type in product review to see how other people like it. That's just kind of normal behavior, right? You would rather hear from somebody else who's bought it and already experienced it on how they like it rather than buying it without knowing. People always are seeking product reviews. So that's one of the best videos to actually make when you're trying to make affiliate sales. Now, one of my favorites is the top slash best listicles. What that means is creating a video on the top five PCs to own in 2019 or a gift guide. These type of videos work very well because if someone is shopping for someone else, this kind of helps them prioritize and categorize what's kind of relevant in that niche. So. I'm gonna give you guys an example of my favorite website, This Is Why I'm Broke. They have gift, gifts for tech savvy guys. And you know, this essentially could kind of work with our niche of tech. So let's take a look here. What they have is professional toolkit for $89. And when you go ahead and click check it out, I'm assuming, yup, it brings you to Amazon and they get a commission if you purchase. It's that easy, guys. Now what you could do is 
maybe you can, you know, look at these talking points, do some research on the product here, and then make a video of this list plus some more added new tech. So a list like this is really popular, especially during the holiday seasons when people are trying to shop for other people, guys. Now, this is a pretty cool idea right off the bat of a video that you could make right after you make the MacBook review. You could do tech savvy guys video 2019. What? and then you can spice it up. The next step, my friends, is to actually go ahead and upload your video to YouTube. All right, you guys, so when you're on YouTube, you go up to the top right and go ahead and click upload video. Now, I'm, I have my video on my desktop already, so you go ahead and upload it. All right, you guys, so now you've uploaded your video and you're just about ready to publish it. Now, before you publish it, guys, this is a very important step that you must take. You must optimize your video for SEO. And what SEO is, it's search engine optimization. It's exactly how Google works. YouTube works the same exact way, where articles are listed upon their rank. And the way you rank is by getting keyword specific, all right? You're gonna want your YouTube video to rank as high as possible so your video goes up on the list, gets more views, which gets more clicks on your link, which gets you more money, all right? so. The way to optimize again is by using keyword specific and we are trying to obviously target the 2019 MacBook customers who are interested in it. So that's our keyword, MacBook 2019. Also review because those are the people who are interested, right? And in looking to find information. So MacBook review 2019 and what I would add here would be MacBook review 2019, uh, maybe watch before you buy. I would tell them MacBook review 2019 must watch. Yeah, I like, I like the must, I'm gonna add it. Must watch before you buy. That might get you that extra click just by adding that in, all right? Another way that you could optimize for keywords here is in the description. You're gonna to wanna to include your keywords in the description. Now, I'm not gonna write a whole lot of description, let's just pretend uh, so I would just say, hi guys, in this video, I review the, and here's where we enter in our keyword guys, 2019. This review is fire. <laughs> A place where you want to enter in your last keywords are in the tags. Tags help YouTube understand what your video is about. So simply, I would type in Mac book. See, there's so many, you can just click on MacBook. Pro, whatever is relevant to your video, MacBook Pro 2019, and it's gonna know that your video is about that, and then it will show it on the right-hand column on YouTube, the suggested videos. All right, you guys, so lastly, what we're gonna be doing is taking the link that we saved earlier on Amazon, and we're gonna enter it into the description. This is where you want your customers to visit after they watch your video this is where they can purchase it on Amazon. So you can go ahead and paste it right here. Now, I'm of course gonna tell them what this links out to. Um, so you can write something like this. So I will go ahead and tell them to click here to check out the latest MacBook, and then they will be able to click on this link. And of course, when they click this link, guys, they will visit this page where they have the option of purchasing this MacBook for over $1,000 and you guys are gonna earn a commission off that. Now that is how it works without a website. Now think about this, you start posting up videos on tech information. You're gonna start building a following once you start getting better. It takes reps, but you're gonna get better. Then sooner than later, your YouTube channel is going to get monetizable. You're gonna have enough watch time and enough subscribers to then turn ads on your videos. You're gonna start earning income that way as well, which then you could put into making better videos, which will get you more views and more money, guys. That's how passive income works. You put up 80% of the work up front and get 20% of the rewards from that, but then later on, you start putting in 20% of the work and you get 80% of the rewards. It's definitely worth it. Guys, just stay consistent. Now, I wanna know who out there is going to actually try this technique or use pieces of it, like the Creative Commons to make videos and use B-roll footage 
in your videos. I'm glad you guys watched the video to the very end and I'm glad that you guys are excited to learn how to make money online because this is the best day and age to do it. And if you wanna learn more guys, feel free to message me. Check out the number one recommendation down below and let's just get in contact guys. I'm here to help you. And until next time, my friends, you already know, don't be average, be savage. I run it up cause I ain't never looking down again. And I just wanna see my mother hold a smile again. So I can't stop, I start a wave, got niggas drowning in. The streets cold, some on them off the shit. Them shots fire, niggas lucky if they found your shit. I hit the button, take it back, thinking about the shit. My niggas hungry, putting ten toes down the net.